Hi, I'm Mrs. R, your co-video substitute teacher for today. And is it noticeable that I'm looking a little rougher? Like, got my hoodie on, my hair is getting funky. You might have noticed that as the videos went on. Do you feel like that too? Is it kind of hard to keep feeling like you're supposed to be, I don't know, the stuff we normally are for school? It's okay. It's okay. Can you smell me? Uh, it's probably for the best that you can't. Okay, let's just start it off. Do you remember the other day? We had made a creature using all these cool categories. And mine end up being Robert. His name was Robert, remember? Robert, the policeman with psychic powers, who was, had a robot body and a mermaid tail. That was him. Did you guys do that? I asked you to go ahead and write me a, draw me, excuse me, draw me, write me? Hmm, is it colored pencils, then is it writing? I guess not if it's not words, is it? So, drawing was it. So I did make some drawings of Robert. Here he is. Here's Robert, look, he's coming out of the waves of the ocean, and he's talking to the people on the boat. That's how I made him. See, he's got his little badge on his hat still. That was, a, that was a picture I made. I made another one, too. Because remember, we decided there could be a story about Robert. And that he went to fight a guy who was stealing cookies. Look. Here he is on an island with his alien feet. And, okay, that's supposed to be a cow head. It kind of looks like an alien head. Um, it's okay, though. I get to make it whatever I want. You get to make yours whatever you want. This is what I made mine. And he's a palm tree. And look, he's shooting his powers out at him. That was the rest of my art project. What did yours end up looking like? I hope it was really cool. Today, though, what we're going to talk about is once we have an idea like that, can we write a story about it? For all writing, all writing. And by the way, this is true if you're a kindergartner or you're in college. There are three steps to writing. Number one is you have to use your imagination and come up with an idea. Now, some kind of writings aren't about your imagination. They're about something you do or an opinion you have. Remember, fact is a real thing. Opinion is an idea. In other words, a fact is a pie is bigger than a cupcake. An opinion would be, I think uh, pies are better than cupcakes. Somebody out there right now is going, oh my gosh. Cupcakes are so much better than pies. Well, that's your opinion, and you get to have that. But anyways, if we're writing about it, we have to have our idea first. Then we have to write it. Like, that's, that's kind of sort of in the description, isn't it? Okay, that wasn't a big surprise. But after that is what we call our checking stage. Our, in grown-up talk, we call it revising and this is where you make sure the story is okay. You fix it. You can add to it. Sometimes you need to subtract to it from it. You look at it and you're like, that part of the story kind of got a little crazy or it doesn't really make sense. I'm going to take that out. But the point is, those are always the three steps. Whether you're really, really young or you're really, really old, that's how writing works. So we already have an idea because I have Robert, the mermaid policeman, Mer merman policeman, whatever he is. So once we know we're writing a story, a story must always have three things, a beginning, a middle, and an end. So that's what we're doing today. I want you to do a version of this about your creature. If you didn't want to make a creature or you felt like that was too hard or whatever, you can use my creature. That's okay. But what we want to do is write a story about it. And we already kind of made up a story. So I think we'll use that one because that way we already know it and it's really familiar. But your creature could be a unicorn-headed, robot-bodied, mermaid-legged thing. And that's going to be a different story because it would have, you know, unicorn powers. What I have is Robert, the robot mermaid policeman. Now, I want you to take out a piece of paper and we're gonna write some steps. Number one, 
Robert or whatever your name thing is. It, it could be don't ask me how to spell that. I have no idea. I just made that up. Robert's easier to spell. Robert saw a, and we're going to finish that line. We'll come back to it. But Robert saw a. Remember, it's a video. You can pause it at any time you need to if you need to copy things down or write them. Some people are going to actually have better ideas for sentences than this, particularly if you're older. That's okay. Your story being better than mine is not going to hurt my feelings. That's just really, really cool. And you can email it to me and I'll get to read it. And that's super cool for me. Because remember how I said I liked reading? I like reading too. Number two, he used his power of, and look, I have a blank here. Where I'm going to write his power in. To do something with his power. Okay. So this is our beginning. He saw something. This is our middle. He did something. Number three, he won. I mean, you could say he lost, but I mean, Robert's super cool. Robert's going to win, people. He's going to win. He won because I have these, I have an extra blank down here below because I, I might want to write more. Might be longer. Because anything coming after because is usually longer. It's not going to be he won because yes, may make sense. He won because he did a thing and the thing happened and stuff came about because of that. And it's longer. And then the end. Now he, and this actually now sets me up. If I want to write another story, I, I can set that up. I can finish this one out, but it's the end of our story. It tells me he won is part of the ending and what happened after the ending our, it is our closing action. Although often it's not very action-y. Sometimes it's just very quiet. Maybe he goes to read. Now he likes to read a book. Pause it. Write these down. Now, for me, I want to show you how you would fill it out. So I have one here. Same thing. Robert, the robot mermaid policeman. We said number one was Robert saw a. This tells me what's going on in the story. Cow head cookie thief. Because that's what we said before. Could be something different though. Maybe I would like to change it. Maybe he could he could see an alien. He could see maybe he sees a friend. Maybe the story isn't an attack story. Maybe it's a story about how he makes a new friend. Maybe he sees Captain America. And he becomes friends with them. And the end of that story is they go and they fight battles together. That'd be cool. But that's not what this one is. I already have this filled out. So we'll go with it. He saw a cow head cookie thief. He used his power of. This is a really weird word. It's psychic. Starts with a P. Spelling is weird sometimes, friends. Spelling is really weird sometimes. His other powers, for him, he has a laser hand. Um, maybe yours has uh, fire power. Or maybe he can fly. Oh, my gosh. That's super cool. I always wanted to fly. I always thought that would be cool. But whatever it is, he has power. And you're going to write that in there. Try to do your best to sound it out and spell it. But if you get the spelling wrong, I'm not going to come to your house and, and yell at you. I, I don't have time for that, really. Plus, I mean, I don't even know where to drive. It's, it's not going to work. You do your best. With writing, always do your best. And you can always explain it to somebody. And a grown-up can help you spell it if you need. Don't worry about that. He used his power of psychic to... Probably should have said something different there, right? Like psychic mind abilities. But it's okay. We're going to roll with it. Make the thief stop stealing. Yeah, it wasn't cool that that thief was stealing. So that's, that's the middle part of my story. He used his power to stop the thief. He won because he worked hard to do right. He really feels like doing the right thing is the most important thing. And he used his psychic powers to make the cowhead cookie thief think it's wrong too. 
And he was like, wow, yeah, no, I don't want to do bad things. I don't want to be a cookie thief. Now he swims around to be safe. It makes the whole ocean safe. Another idea, though, is maybe now he made friends with the cowhead guy. That could be something else. I like that, too. But whatever it is, you're going to write it. You need a beginning, a middle, and an end. And you can go back and watch the one we did where we made our special creatures. But if you don't want to go through all that, just make your own. I'm going to use this as the drawing that would go with my page. And then together, oops, that's the one that's not filled out. Let's try that again. Together, this would be like a book. I could show my, my mom or my friends. And right now you're probably thinking, yeah, no, I can't hang out with my friends. But you could show them by sending, taking a picture with your phone or your parents' phone and sending it to their parents' phone. And we can share stories together. So I really want everybody to do this. And here's something even better. What if you wrote a story and you took a picture of it and you sent it to your friend and they did the next part of the story? Chapter two. That's what they're going to call it. Chapter two. And then they will say, the next story of Robert, the mermaid robot policeman. Robot poli Wow, that's so long, isn't it? We might want to work on a better title. And they'll write something, and they'll send it back to you. A picture of their picture and their story. Well, then, somebody's got to write chapter three. Can't wait for you to do that. Don't forget, you can do this with your friends. Do the first part by yourself. So you already have a story by yourself, beginning, middle, end. And then what we said was we had to have our imagination. We had to write it down. And then we can change it and we can add to it. And in this case, you can have your friend add to it. Have them send you the next chapter. Maybe you can email it to me. I don't know that I will have time to read all of them. But it would be super cool to get to read some. Thanks.